this is what BJJ can be like constantly looking for openings and attacks. It was so exciting. I had no idea BJJ could be like this. Dude, it was insane. This match was what everybody was looking for and Look wanted this shit. too. Credit for Craig Jones to making the match in this pit. Yes. Dude, it solves all the problems of these guys running off the mat. The crispy technical fighter against the drunk uncle. <laughs> <laughs> but the drunk uncle Who can you? Hit, dude. Who knew drunk uncle got power like that? There are so many moments that'll make you bust up laughing because these things shouldn't happen. Duplessis likes to shell. So you would see Adesanya yeah. hold onto a frame. Duplessis just shell and he started running for it. <laughs> I was like, yo, I've never seen a professional fighter turn into a bowling ball and just run straight at somebody. Tippy toe too. Hamza versus Whitaker. Early predictions. I say Robert Whitaker by COVID. <laughs> <laughs>pc stuff right before we started welcome back to the casuals we are an mma and combat sports show hosted by very 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 casual fans my name is gilbert that is nick and that is david so let's go we got a lot to talk about today we have ufc 305 we have cji we have adcc we have gordon ryan's weird text ADHD, messages hiv, HIV <laughs> AIDS, AIDS, std oh, wow. which lead, brings us to nick <laughs> <laughs> You, Am I the you, poster boy you, you are the poster boy for HIV. You're the Maggie Johnson of black belt jiu-jitsu. This guy got a gold medal. Forget <laughs> everything else that happened. This guy's a Magic Johnson. <laughs> he I'll keeps winning <laughs> gold because nobody wants to roll <laughs> with it. <laughs> nobody shows up. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the podium by myself. You should just do that before every match. Hi, Bates. What? <laughs> Excuse me? What? Hard bar. Ch Ch wow. Choke me out. Yeah. Uh, yes, we have all these huge like uh, championship gold medals including yourself tell us about your first <laughs> black belt your black belts let me ask black you belt. this was this your first time in a long time taking it seriously yeah for sure first time taking it seriously ever kind of yeah wow what yeah. does that mean to take it seriously for you you know really doing the wake up properly getting your training in and not just being like we'll just see what happens going to yeah, yeah. game plan trying to do some film study a little bit your your photos that everybody had of you what i was crying laughing yeah what's wrong with you dude have some charisma every Jesus photo Christ. of him looks like i don't give a shit i just wanted to get off i was like all right dude <laughs> everybody up. next to him smiling <laughs> they're like the silver they're like yeah this guy's just like i could give a shit less get me the <laughs> fuck out of here dude i was like all right wrap it up dude stop celebrating me all right because we, we had a bunch of other guys that are competing so i was like all right we have to go fucking coach these idiots and then the other thing, though, too, was I wasn't very happy with my performance, bro. Oh, really? Dude, yeah, dude, I was fucking... Sub or points or what? I went on points, but... Loser? Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Loser. Kind of, dude. Would you smother the whole time? Kind of. Yeah. I just held this motherfucker. I was like, this guy was really, like, wiry. Yeah. He was really good. Let me tell you something. So I just held him down for a while. You'll never be Kate Rotolo. Not yet. Because yeah, you're dude. fucking Nick Dunn. <laughs> and you have HIV. <laughs> my hair's not as cool. The gamrod of BJJ. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm a prox sniffer, dog. I was just putting my head in between his legs the whole time trying to pin his head. Don't matter. You got the gold, baby. Honestly, but that's what I usually do in tournaments is I fuck around. I don't pay attention to the points. And I, you know, I try to like, I get bored sometimes. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to roll for a sub and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, didn't get it. Oh, God, <laughs> I'm getting my back taken. I remember one time in a tournament, this guy was taking my back. And I was like, <laughs> you're, you're in for a world of hurt, buddy. <laughs> I was like, when I get out of this, you're in so much trouble. Take my back. I don't care. Yeah, I was like, see what happens, dude. And I'm yeah. like, I finally get choked out. Break my sunglass. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. He bust, He honestly got me in the same submission that Mackenzie Dern got put in. And oh, by what was that? I, I didn't know what that was. It was like a reverse triangle little arm lock. What like competition are you lock. talking about? What tournament? CJI, baby. You know what was interesting? Like, I love reading the comments because I think BJJ is, first of all, UFC casual fandom is already annoying as it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I happen to be one of them. <laughs> and then on top, then you have BJJ casual fandom, which is less known than the UFC. Oh, God. It's the worst. Like, mm -hmm. they were in that competition, and then all the comments were like, I thought Mackenzie Dern is the shit. I was like, do you know who she's rolling against? Yeah. Are you dumb? She's like the best woman in the world. <laughs> yeah, right what now. the fuck are you mm -hmm. talking about? Like, it. The yeah, it should have yeah. gone that way. And also Mackenzie <laughs> yep. Dern. Just had a UFC fight like a week ago. Exactly. MMA training, striking every day. Yeah. Like, her, come her on. game has changed. Well, but when she was doing jiu-jitsu. Queen. Like, I think she beat Gabby Garcia a couple times. She did, yeah. During 2015, I think she, like she won, world. won everything. Yeah, everything. She won everything. Yeah. And then she made the transition, so it was like a big yeah, deal. Come on. 
What Haters, brother. I yeah, mean, you think... act like it wasn't fucking dope and competitive. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, she also, uh, Mackenzie was supposed to do, she wanted to make one more run at ADCC this year. Uh, and then Craig was like, please don't do it. Do it for, like, I'll, I'll give you the super fight. Just come to CGI. And she's like, fuck it. Fuck Mo. Yeah. Let's just do the CGI. Wow. So, Originally, yeah, she wasn't even supposed to do this, so good for her for going up against a beast. I also don't like it when UFC fighters who are active on a potential title run, maybe, to be doing these competitions. Mm. I don't think it's worth it, right? I think it's very taxing on the body. There's a Could high chance right. of injury. And if your goal is to be a champion one day, I think rolling with these people are fine, but to put yourself in a position to where you could break something, get fucked up, and fuck up your whole career is not mm. Yeah, because I think they were saying that she got her arm popped on this. Yeah. So. There we go. Dana so. White's... <laughs> Jesus, he's gonna be pissed. Yeah, because she... Mackenzie Dunn Dern won her last fight, right? Yeah. Yep. She won. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, biggest life lesson of this was fucking Cub Swanson. How long was he out for? Yeah. He tore his knee to shreds. Yeah. It was so bad. And so I was like, ugh, come on, Mackenzie. Yeah, like, even think nice. about the uh, match with uh, Ty Rotolo against uh, that grappler Levi. Levi John. Uh, Ty... Fucked up his knee. Yeah, the that's first why round. he was he was on crutches and he's fighting for one FC this year. So now it's like, yeah, if you're one FC, you're like, come on, dude. <laughs> is he doing MMA or is he doing BJJ? Jiu Jitsu, I think he still. Is. But he was going to debut MMA this year. At the, I think in a, the Atlanta card. But bro, those were two little brothers, stars. What you okay? So did, did you, you? How much of it did you watch of CJ? Like just a couple. Things? I saw. I saw the match that you sent with which was Tackett and yeah. Rotolo. Kate Tackett's Rotolo. Yeah. crazy. Which was like we were saying before this podcast started. Like I don't know BJJ enough, and sometimes when I watch these competitions, I just skip. Yeah, you don't know what you're looking at. They immediately start butt scooting, and it's just this chess match of see who could have like the longest fucking dookie streak on the floor. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, it's still a competition, dude. Yeah, but, uh, Can you do that? How long is your dookie yeah, straight? Yeah. It looks like my dog, my Cocker Spaniel who passed away, <laughs> looks like that. And I just get sick of it, right? But then when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is what BJJ can be, like, constantly yeah. looking for openings and attacks. It was so fucking exciting. I had no idea BJJ could be like this. Dude, it was insane. <laughs> this match was what everybody was looking for and Look wanted at this shit. too. Runs right to each other. And should've, bro, should have been the finals. Credit for Craig Jones to making the match in this pit. Yes, yeah. Because it, dude, it solves all the problems of these guys running off the mat, restarting, and having to restart, restart. and it, and it creates like some guys will get put in submissions and they'll fall outside the mat. Then they'll return them to stand. It's not the same thing. Yeah. It's not the same thing. So it's like this: you can get a sub on the side of the wall and finish it. And readjust and get yourself off the wall. So Dude, it's like, when Cade cool. got his back taken and it looked like, oh shit. But this is what I'm saying. Like when you know when when you see MMA, somebody has like their hook sunk into you and they or they have a triangle on your body and it's like that, you're pretty much done. Yeah. It's I would say the finish rate is probably close to like 70, 80 percent. <laughs> this whole guy, I was like, Dude, yo, what is this? <laughs> well, they know exactly what the defenses are. Like most guys that if you can't get out in, in the UFC, unfortunately, it's a lot of it is you either didn't drill that position enough or you don't yeah. know the proper escape, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these guys, you see it happen live. Like, this is dead to rights in a lot of spots. Getting body triangled against a high-level black belt. But, you know, Cade did the right move. He slowly started unhooking, turned his body, and got the position. So it's like they have a really good understanding of what to do. That's but, so amazing. Yeah. Like David. All the like, matches were great. Like, I don't know jiu-jitsu. I was like, I'm gonna go to this event because I just love the story behind it, uh, bro. Being in there, it's 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 a it's a strange feeling. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm so interested in this because mm. the way this was set up. Like, I was there from 3 p.m. to 1 a.m. watching oh, matches all shit. on Friday, and the crowd was still kind of popping. And then the second day, Saturday, was awesome with Gabby coming out. Like, she got a huge pop off because basically, I feel like this event didn't happen without her and Craig no, kind of building sure. it up, having the fun jokes. Dude, they had like a com comedy commentary the whole time Hanato. with fucking Hanato. Dude, that guy is so, so funny. Good. He's the one of the funniest guys. He is on so Earth. fucking funny. It's unreal. And he was so quiet for so long. I didn't know that was a character. So the fact that he's back, yeah. I thought was this real... guy was on General Hospital. He was on General Hospital as an American. <laughs> he's black Puerto Rican. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? He's such he's a good actor. Hilarious. He's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> so good. Dude, there's a part of the that one, that the pre-fight interview where she was like, she was like, <laughs> yeah, I've been on gear. Hold, he goes, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, carajo, carajo. 
<laughs> He's like, this this the breaking news? Yeah, <laughs> this guy's so stupid. He's so good, bro. <laughs> so fucking busted up laughing. I'm like, oh shit, there's a fucking nutbag, dude. <laughs> He's hilarious. <laughs> He's so convincing, you would think it's a real person. No, I thought absolutely. it was a real fucking person, and dude. His whole joke is he has 27 stripes on his black <laughs> <laughs> So like, the, he fooled the whole internet because him and Joe used to do this with each other. Yeah, and Eddie Bravo, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so Joe would talk. There was like the one that blew up was when Joe was talking about weed, and he was saying it's like about, it's for Satan and all this other stuff. And Joe's like yelling at him, but it's a sketch. Yeah, but yeah. nobody knows. Yeah, I, and so I didn't know either. And everybody found out like a year later. It's yeah. like why did anybody say that this wasn't real? <laughs> you know what I mean, he did a prank like that where like I think Eddie Bravo. And Hanato walks into Eddie Bravo's like class oh, and get challenges him. him. Yeah, and and Eddie Bravo's fucking him up, and Hanato takes his back, chokes him out, and like pretends to kill him or something. Like yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> they have to like dump the body. They prank the whole studio. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But yeah, dude, this event was uh, a success. They're probably gonna do it again. Uh, the other so other side of town was ADCC. I got to go to that too. And that was garbage. <laughs> like I, it's like you were. I'm at the gold medal finals. Like after this finish, like oh, let's check out the gold medal finals. I was with the. Uh, I was with Jeremy Zargami, and uh, we get in there. People are fighting for gold, and T-Mobile is probably like at forty to thirty percent capacity. Wow, Ooh. dude, Craig Jones ruined them. Yeah. Well, it's it's just so tough. Like, cause watching ADCC at home versus watching CGI at home. Great production. CGI was, the matches were. Better to watch. They're more fun. The rule set helped it. Yeah. ADCC, they'll show you one match and then switch to a different match in the middle of the other match. Yeah. And each match is 20 minutes long. Yeah. And the first 10 minutes is sub only. So you would expect more action happen. Nope. But nothing really happens. Nope. And also look at the level of production that they had here. Man. It was so good. Everything. It's so good. It's the like stream UFC was, level. The stream was perfect. Yeah. That's what you said, too, right? No UFC ups. level, huh? They had little ads promoting all the different businesses and it was like it was cool to watch it, it wasn't like a drag like when you watch the ufc uh the espn plus app sometimes you see the same goddamn fox commercial over and over yeah. you want to blow your brains out also the streaming was shit on this card i fucking my shit kept on freezing yeah same getting oh, pissed. the cgi was perfect Ugh. perfect and then check there in the audience, like Marab, so many ufc celebrities were there no one's at ADCC <laughs> except john jones and marab Maybe. gets heckled by fucking a fan because they, Sean O'Malley came up on the screen and then started saying shit to Marab. He also was a fucking maniac, dude. And then he goes up to the fan. Look at his face. Look at the fan's face. He goes, oh, no, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Everyone leaves. No one stands by the guy. Yeah. <laughs> this guy acted like such a little That shit guy. right there, when he scruffed up his curls, that shit made me giggle so yeah. hard. You have any idea how disrespectful that is? He wanted to fucking punch him for yeah, sure. Yeah, he wanted to hold those curly little locks and just start blasting him in the face. That made me so happy. Yeah. It, look, first of all, he's fight ready right now. I don't think people understand. Like, have you ever seen, like, you know, like when fighters are about to get into a fight, their demeanor's different. Yeah, they're it's a little like, scary. He's on edge right now. Mm -hmm. Don't do that to him. By the way, this isn't a UFC event. Nobody's yeah. protecting you. Mm -hmm. you That's know? what I told everyone. I was like, dude, there's no security here. What are you doing? <laughs> you, you're going to get yeah, fucked up. Shit. Marab is on edge, too. I've been reading, uh, seeing some of his tweets and stuff. I'm like, uh-oh, he's fight ready. Is he angry? He's yeah. getting ready to go. angry. And yeah. you know what's funny is, like, the reaction as Marab comes up, he's like, no, 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 no. And there's another angle where when Marab gets taken away by security, the guy's laughing like, oh, what the fuck is wrong with that guy? Yeah. You know, it's like, dude, you you changed from a little bitch ass yeah. <laughs> to being like, oh, yeah, get this guy out of here. Yeah, you get know? the yeah. fuck out of here, dude. He literally thought he was going to die at that moment. And he would have. If that person wasn't there, he would have sunned That large ass. Samoan man? Yeah. <laughs> and even then, that large Samoan man was also in danger. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, please, 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 please. Yeah. But, yeah, the the matches were great. Yeah, it's uh, It was yeah. a really cool uh, event. They're doing it again next year. We should all go. Gordon, Gordon Ryan's sad. You, they're, they've been beefing, basically, on fucking Instagram. Gordon Ryan apparently is... Uh, Craig called out Gordon Ryan for some sexual assault. Oh. Gordon Ryan was trying to like look you can't you can't jab back at an Aussie guy who's fucking funnier than you And he's yeah. like all right Gordon you want to keep making fun? He Let me rules, drop this dude. nuke right now. He bought Gordon Ryan's Miata You know about this? <laughs> no, and he gave it to a fan for free He bought his Gordon Ryan's car and then someone one ticket in the audience wins Gordon Ryan's car And it was what just some the chick fuck? in the nosebleeds and she, <laughs> and she said I came from ADCC bought a ticket today because it was boring she just showed up that day and went in Gordon Ryan's car. That's amazing. And then, and then Craig Jones goes, hey, you buy a CGI merch. Whoever does the funniest thing at ADCC, I'll give you five Gs. You know what's interesting, too, when That's I was talking about was, like, it's amazing what 
for as much as what Gordon Ryan has done for jujitsu, Craig Jones in this one event has done more. <laughs> Absolutely. Which Seriously. Is, which is insane. <laughs> well, he just elevated it. Yeah, because it's not so much. I think he found a way to kind of make it attractive to the layman, mm-hmm. right? And right that's here. kind of where... That's the money ticket. Absolutely. And this is where I was telling like UFC fighters too, like when we're on this podcast, when they go, if you're a casual, don't even watch. It's like, well, good luck making money mm. because the casuals are the ones that dump money into this because we can't do what you do. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what Craig Jones figured out. It's like, we keep marketing this to the experts. The experts are haters. Mm-hmm. They're not going to buy the stuff. They're not going to support and cheer you on. It's people like us who can't do what you do that wish we were you that will spend the money. Mm-hmm. And it's that type of like bravado and like that the sport needed. Craig Jones, man, you did a great job. Dude, his his whole, he doesn't take himself seriously. And the, all his content, I think every piece of content he's released from the vlogs of them training, going to... Uh, doing uh, the quintet and all that stuff. It made it so fun to follow him and watch, even if you were a part of the sport or not. That's how I got into it. Right? And then he'll release these instructionals where they're like joke names. Oh, like sick. false reap allegations. Like, that's a move? <laughs> reap is a move, right? Yeah, reap is a move. <laughs> false. David's like, buys it all. And then, and then David just buys it. We're going to buy this. Take my money. Yeah, and then, and then the whole the whole DVD is like really instructional, like great techniques. But it's also fun, and he's entertaining you the whole time. But it's like that with all of them. He has one called the Power Bottom. Like, that's so rear naked cock. That's <laughs> He's the one like, rear naked. <laughs> Dave is like, I'm gonna watch these DVDs. Dude, I'm but gonna like, be a black belt in two years. <laughs> but he just kept doing this to the point where everyone's like, Oh, this guy's the, the fucking man. Yeah. And everybody wants a piece of him. And yeah. dude, it's really cool to see him get to the stage and get people to really talk about how cool these events are. Because who yeah. gives a shit about jiu-jitsu until you watch these matches and you're like, Man, yeah. I kind of give a shit. That's really awesome, man. Also, too, it doesn't hurt that he's fucking amazing at the sport. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, because if it was somebody else, who cares? Absolutely, it's fucking Craig Jones. Check this I mean? out. So he po- Craig Jones posted this chick, and uh, it's a, it's a. She sent it to Craig, a message from Gordon Ryan. He says, "You coming to Austin anytime soon? Where you at? Where what is there to do in Austin? Watch comedy and have sex. Ha 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 ha." <sighs> and then she goes, "I'd rather fuck Craig Jones because at least he's funny." <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> dude, everyone look at his response though. Yeah, you're about his league. That's a good chance you'll have. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's Gordon, a pretty good. Company. It's like Gordon Ryan. You also got a lady, buddy. You dumbass. Uh, <laughs> hey, but I, they must have some sort of situation. You know what it is too. It's like you. We're also finding out too. Now they're becoming online personalities. Yeah. Which which online personality does better, the comedian or the guy that hates everybody? Comedian. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Gordon Ryan's thing is like. You know, I'm angry. I'll kill anybody. Come, come talk shit to me. I'll fuck you up. Yeah, that goes up to a certain. But it has, the comedy element always wins. Yeah. people like to laugh. It's always fresher. Yeah, hundred percent, dude. He's the darling oh. of jujitsu. Well, Craig yeah, Jones, but also fuck you, Craig Jones, for canceling on us last minute. You better be here, dude. We almost had him. You better be here. I'll do something. Yeah, yeah he's gonna <laughs> rear naked cock you. Yeah, dude. <laughs> your ass. Hey, can I make up the names for your moves? <laughs> 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 um, all right, let's get over to UFC 305. It's, we didn't even get to talk about it before. Uh, a little bit of the lead up to this was kind of crazy. Yeah, and I think Nick called it when he said, "Like, yo, DDP is gonna win." After Israel cried at the press conference, nah, it wasn't just that. It was just like the style. Like, I, we've been downplaying DDP for so long. I'll still downplay him because we we don't want to <laughs> believe it. We don't want to believe. I'm still downplaying. We don't want to believe that he's beating all of our favorite guys. Robert Whitaker. Oh, that one. Sean Strickland. Yeah, man. Israel Adesanya. Yeah. But can I tell you something, dude? These hurt. It's tough. He's good. I have never seen somebody fight that made me feel like I could fight in the UFC right now. <laughs> <laughs> there was there was a move that Duplessis did that it made me bust up laughing so fucking hard. First of all. This was an amazing fight. It is the te- so good. the crispy technical fighter against the drunk uncle. <laughs> but the drunk uncle Who can knew? hit, dude. Who knew drunk uncle got power like that? If you guys watch this fight, there are so many moments that'll make you bust up laughing because these things shouldn't happen. There was a point where Duplessis, you could tell, like, because Adesanya was... Duplessis likes to shell. So you would see Adesanya mm-hmm. frame. Yeah. Hold on to a frame. Duplessis just shelled and he started running for it. I was like, yo, I've never seen a professional fighter turn into a bowling ball and just run straight at somebody. Tippy toe, too. That Tippy was toe. the funniest. It's the, it's the new meta, dude. <laughs> the new meta yeah. UFC. Dude, 
What? He fucking slips. He drops to the floor. And he just ankle picks it out of Sonya too. I'm Bro. like, and he falls down. Yeah, when he knocked him down, when when Izzy cracked DDP, <laughs> knocked him down, and ankle picked him at the same time. That was pretty crazy. I was like, dude, this is the craziest fight I've ever seen. And by the way, Adesanya looked great. He did. Oh man, he looked good. He was ripping into his body. Duplessis was breathing heavy. Yeah. His arms was dropping. But there's something about Duplessis and his willpower that he's so durable. He's durable. Durable as fuck. He's like, you're not gonna take me out of this octagon. But, but he's done that to Darren Till. Yeah. He's done that to Rob Whitaker. He's done that to Sean. He's done that to Izzy. Look at that day one Muay Thai low kick, dude. Yeah. Nah, man, that's good. You just don't know technique anymore. <laughs> you suck, dude. That's what you gotta do. Izzy looked great, dude. Which makes um, Duplessis even better. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because I really do feel like Izzy was tip top shape. Mm -hmm. He had a great game plan and it was big. working. He looked strong. Yeah. All the city kickboxing boys, they all looked really good. Mm -hmm. Which we got to talk about them too. That Wee. shit was fucking nuts, Wild. man. But like, yeah, I think Izzy had a great game plan. He did everything. I think, um, what's his name? Uh, she commentator now. OG. Dom, Dom Cruz. Uh, the the, 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 the black, Cruise, black right? dude. Daniel Cormier. Uh, darker Dan black Thomas. Dude. Dan Thomas. Was it Dan darker, Thomas? darker black dude? <laughs> yeah, darker black dude. Uh, Salt Shane. pepper beard. Dan Thomas. <laughs> Dan Thomas. I think he was being a little harsh on his critiques with Adesanya. Did you hear his stuff? No, what he said. Was it Dan? Yeah, it was Dan Thomas. He was just saying like, Izzy had no game plan and he was doing everything wrong. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I don't. If you watch back the fight, he was cracking the shit out of him. I do. I mean, look. A striker's going to overthrow against somebody who's going to grapple. It's going to happen. I think, dude. Uh, I really think it's the threat of the takedown. It is. He's a, he's just a more complete fighter. And and that's what like if Izzy was threatening guillotines, or like taking him or shooting takedowns and really threatening to take him down, that fight would change. Like, and I feel like that's the case in any well-rounded guy versus a striker. Yeah. If the striker d doesn't have the submission abilities or any offensive wrestling, it's really hard to stop mm -hmm. an onslaught like a guy who can mix it up well. Mm -hmm. Because he's he's at the mercy of DDP. He's like, either get punched in the face really hard, right, as he's running towards you. He literally <laughs> runs towards you. But, but that's, that's the blueprint to beat Izzy, is put him against the cage, run towards him, make him back up the whole time. Yeah. And that's what he did a really good job with, right? But Izzy did a great job of moving forward this, oh, of this course. fight. He was pressing of course. the fuck right. But then again, it's like DDP does what he does in every single fight. Drags I was listening out. to Rob Whitaker talk about it, and he goes, his timing is weird. Yeah. Because he's he's like slow, but he still tags you. When he tags you, it hurts. And sometimes when you're, when you're sparring a guy who's really an orthodox and not that good. What's the rhythm you kind of catch? It's, it's hard to kind of figure out what, like, Keith Jardine, everybody used to be like, oh, yeah, oh, I can't figure this guy out, but he's big, he's strong, he's durable, and he's awkward. So that, like, you don't really know how to adjust until you fight that guy. I think a great example of that is, like, when you kickbox and you train and then you start fighting somebody who's spazzy, yeah. they tag you up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't know why. It's like, like, what, what the, the fuck? <laughs> this, is, this is not a normal rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> and no. that, that adjustment period is, is really, really difficult, or you just don't adjust at all. Yeah. Because this guy fights like a tard, and it's kind of nuts. Like, I were, when I was in junior high, there was a special ed kid that bum-rushed <laughs> okay, me. Dude. And I legit, it felt like that. I thought it was DDP. Yeah, I thought it was <laughs> He was DDP. South African. <laughs> like, you don't know what the next move is. You know what I mean? It's unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. And that's, like, look at the Dude, there was moments where Izzy was so smooth. Toro, just yeah. moving aside. But the thing is, because he's so awkward and you don't know when that rush is happening, if he's not doing the... If he's not taking a sidestep and he's moving backwards, yeah. he's gonna get tagged, and that's what would happen. See that, Look at that shit. The fall, what is that? The fall. I get knocked down. Ankle pick. Yeah. yeah. No, it's absolutely. Is he a modern day drunken master? I Kinda. think so. Kind of. Just. Have oh. you seen him drink? That motherfucker. I saw a video of him chugging in like two sips. Amazing. Yeah, he's <laughs> he kind of wild boy. For his fight, he's a wild white for sure. <laughs> but he's like a strong, durable guy. So strong that could take your back and choke you out. That's scary. You know, every That's fight too to that he with. wins, he looks like he got his face ran through a truck. Yep. But he's winning, and so it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter if we think it looks pretty. It doesn't matter nope. if we don't think it's technical. Who's getting the W and who's doing it in an emphatic fashion? Minus the Strickland fight, he lost that one. But other than, <laughs> other than that, he knocked out Robert Whitaker and he choked out Israel Adesanya at peak form. That's pretty crazy. Come on, man, you got to give this guy his fucking credit. Yeah, absolutely, he's the man. He he's really good, and I like him on the mic. He's kind of fun.
Bro, yeah. the more I listen to him, um, the more I'm like, this guy's good. Dude, yeah. this fool he could roasted, be a star. He roasted Urseg so hard. Oh, the six Brother. out of ten, bro. Dude, that was so funny. Urseg was looking good in that fight, too. He was. He was. Oh, we'll, he we'll, just got. Yeah. We'll talk Can about we talk that. about yeah, that Yeah, just the, the ending, though, right? Oh, so, yeah. Look at this. He just runs and starts throwing haymakers. Who does that? What professional fighter does that? Do you but, think Izzy, because Izzy said he didn't even really feel like he got, like, days. He just said. It didn't he, look like he was dead. Yeah, right? It's just he just didn't protect But, him dude, back. that pressure. Yeah. Right. You're having to fight takedowns. You have to keep getting up. This. I'm. I'm assuming he's stronger than Izzy. Yo. And, and look at this, yeah. dude. He. He has the fucking Gabriel on the other side. Yeah. Cranking. Who's gonna get out of that? It's hard. He looks like a bodybuilder. No, absolutely. And he was crazy too. Bodybuilder physique, but he has endurance. Cardio, dude. What do you do? What the fuck do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do, man? You honestly have to kick him in the middle. You have to throw something up the middle. In the or nuts. You have to be able to wrestle him. Yeah. Like, you have to have, that's why the Hamza matchup sounds kind of cool. Yeah. Like, if you were to fight Poetan, what do you guys think of that? There's all these well, rumors about how. Because well, Poetan wants to go down. Which I don't think he, he should. shouldn't. And he was like, I'll go up. I think. That's not happening. I think. Uh, he should go up. <sighs> I think Poetan, too, even though he's crispy, he's also very unorthodox. Yeah. You have two unorthodox fighters. I would give it to Poetan because he's at 205. I give it to he's, Poetan. There is enough footage on Duplessis where Poetan's weird rhythm and also just the way that he throws, he's going to tag him hard. And I don't think Duplessis has ever felt that shit. Well, he's never had. A, he's never fought a guy with like that crazy amount of firepower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like one punch KO. Yeah, that's tough. And Pereira is that fucking guy. And Duplessis gets cracked a lot, a lot. He just somehow survives it all. I'm a big fan of him now. Like, <laughs> I just, he just makes me laugh so much on the mic and also when he fights. I mean, that's comedy, dude. And so professional, too. So Did Sean Strickland's like, probably going to be next. He has, that's, that's Dana, White Dana, White, Dana White said that. Which, to me, makes sense because unanimously everybody thought he won. Mm. So, I give, it, give it to Sean Strickland. Whatever. Sean refuses to fight in South Africa, though. He said there's still apartheid happening. <laughs> And he was on a podcast and he goes, they're like, what? He's like, nah, dude. You don't know what apartheid means. Dude, he <laughs> said, I went, I went to South Africa. I went to an orphanage and 90% of those people are black. Where are the whites? There's no poor whites in South Africa. There's still apartheid happening. I'm like, bro. Sean, what? don't take that angle. Just go back to the other, <laughs> go back to the other stuff, hey, dude. Maybe as a point. I don't know. There's a part I don't know nothing about South, Af South Africa. Can't even bro. say the word. <laughs> That's <laughs> wild, South bro. I don't know nothing about South Africa. South Africa. But yeah, uh, Izzy, <laughs> I think, Chinese took the loss pretty well. He was like, yeah, hats off to him. I'll be back. I'm not going to retire. And DDP gave him all the credit. And uh, said, it was kind of nice that they very nice. They shook hands afterwards. There. Yeah, buddy, buddy. These Africans you know, love each other, dude. They want Africa, Madifoka. For Africa. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just, um, yeah, you know what? If Izzy does retire, I still would be okay. Yeah. I mean, how much have you done? Mm -hmm. And I feel like he's also getting really old now. In, in for fighting terms. 35, yeah. yeah. And also for the amount of fights he's had. <laughs> so. Dude, 17 fights in the amount of time. Who would he fight next, do you think? He would have to fight uh, that that French Dagestani. Imovov? Yeah. That'd be kind of fire. Imovov oh. is number four right now. It's also a striking match. That'd be fun. And I think that would Let's be a that. really fun match. And Imovov ain't no bitch. This nah. would be the first fight in a while then that he didn't fight for a title because he's only been fighting for titles, which is kind of wild. Hey, by the way, speaking of middleweights, did you guys see the fight between Marvin Vittori and Brendan Allen? In the bar? Who won that, you guys think? I think from what I saw, it looked like Brendan Allen was running across the casino like DDP. Hey man, <laughs> those Louisiana was, dude. If you if you slow it down, Marvin Vittori for the first time had defense. Yeah. <laughs> that was, I was like, "Where's this in your fights, bro? Like, bing, bing, Where bing. was this? This fool had his guard. He went casino block. PFL, I think. He was blocking him. He was blocking and rolling shit. I'm like, well, how come you don't do this in your fights? That's so good. <laughs> So I, what was that beef about? Do you, does anybody know? Oh, no. Know. They're probably just talking shit. Shorty's talking shit. <laughs> DDP. <laughs> Shorty's talking shit. DDP. Uh, DDP. Dana White was like, oh, it was probably the best fight of the night if it was at PFL. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no way. You did you really say that? About? Yeah. You know what we didn't talk about is. Wait, here it is. Oh, is this the same weekend? ADCC weekend? It's our boy Eric Nixick. Is that Michael Johnson, too? Bro, Aaron Nixick is huge. No, no. I met him, dude. This guy should be a fighter. He's massive. Oh, dude. He looks like Francis Ngannou, but white. Why the fuck is Eric Nixick so gigantic? White Ngannou. <laughs> he makes Vittori look small. Yeah, he does, huh? Oh, shit. Dude, Brendan Allen rushed him. Bro, what is, like, what... Are these guys trying to, like, you know, get I fined? mean, Vittori is a hothead, though, so yeah, I bet you he said something. Yeah. He said something Italian or something. Yeah. He looks like a demon. Boom. He is scary. Yeah. He's another guy who looks like a street shark. 
a hundred percent. For a monster. He is a street shark for a monster, <laughs> yeah. dude. It's dude, those teeth. Him and Muhammad Usman standing together. <laughs> that's dude, that's your those are your centers. Power forward right there. Uh so you think Izzy fights Imaba. That'd I, be kind of fun. I think that'd be a really fun fight. He's already fought Robert Whitaker. He fought yeah. Sean Strickland. Let's give him some fresh blood to motivate him, man. Let's give him Imabov. What about is okay, uh Hamzat versus Whitaker. Early predictions. Because <laughs> that just got announced again. Yeah. I say Robert Whitaker by COVID. <laughs> <laughs> by long COVID symptoms. Yeah, by long yeah. COVID symptoms. Bobby Knuckles. Yeah. Let's just see if he even gets to the fight, dude. Yeah. Oh, that's I, the sad part about Hamza, right? It's yeah. like it's hard to get excited for that matchup potentially. Yeah, we're all huge fans of him. It's just like how many times can he miss fights? And I kill everybody, brother. I know. Did you guys see the video of him grappling with Luke Rockhold? Oh, for real? Yeah, it was like scraps. They were in they were in the gym and Hamza was kind of winning those exchanges. Yo, like shout out to Luke Rockhold for having a conversation mid-match with DJ. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that was so funny. And then he almost got a rear naked choked. <laughs> that shit was so funny, dude. Yeah, it did Ryan come out, though. He actually did hurt his back three days before that. Though. He did? So they ever thought no, he was you, joking? When you he was, could tell he, there was... It was sluggish. Yeah. You could tell when certain uh, grapplers, like, because you could tell when they looked injured in those matches. This will tap DJ. That shit made me giggle. <laughs> and DJ, DJ was like, it's not my fault if he loses. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, damn, Kai Kara France. Wow. I picked Ursig. Yeah, yeah. We, I, I picked, picked Ursig too. Picked Ursig. I just thought. Hey, did he look good though? He looked great. Technical. He he just he's the rangy guy. He coming off that loss of Pantoja, he's a little more active. And I haven't seen Kai Kara France in a while, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna go Steve Ursig. But like that setup that he threw like four different times in that fight that Kai Kara France threw, and he was blitzing forward with that left hook. The fourth time he threw it. It just caught him. Steve Ursig was doing a great job. Like during the middle of that round, he started uh, predicting Kai Car France's head movement, mm. and then he started tagging him in between his movement. And I was like, "He has his number. It's done now." Next thing you know, the knockout came, made me scream. Oof. And it was the same way that Michael Johnson got, got knocked out, and Steve Ursig did that overhand just like the just like everybody else does to a taller fighter. Mm. You just dip, you get out the way, switch stance, crack him, and it was so devastating because you don't see knockouts like that at that weight class. He fell. He got flat. Stiffed him. He stiffed him, dude. Yeah, it was a. Uh... Uh, and it came out of nowhere. Yeah. Because you felt the momentum was swaying towards Ursig. And for him to hit him with that shot. Look at that. He's like getting his timing down. And he had really counters. good movement. Ursig was circling out the way. Yep. Bah. He was he Look was addressing that. the uh the blitzes. But Kaikar France was was uh he was fainting like a mug. He was fainting so many times in that fight. Yeah. And I think it eventually caught him. Also, too, it's like you, you guys will see this, too, in a lot of these fights for smaller guys. That overhand is always there. How do I know this? I get hit by it a lot. <laughs> so <laughs> when you go straight back, you you kind of – it's very dangerous, especially when somebody's moving that fast. Yeah. And what a lot of these shorter guys, especially in the UFC, are figuring out is that when these guys move straight back and you're the shorter opponent, it's that switch stance that gets you faster. Mm -hmm. So they're now not moving – in their orthodox and they're style. tall. Yeah. They're switched in, so they actually have more range. Mm. And so they don't expect it. Mm. And so he kind of had a long guard, but his face was open. Crack. Done. And Yeah, dude. It was just right. Was it on the temple or was it on the chin? It was on the chin, dude. <sighs> oh, he stepped outside and lined up yeah, it's coming beautifully. Up right and he got a lot of reach on that blitz. I was like, damn, bro. Yeah, he, he was across the cage. Boom. Boom. It's that step through. Head off the center line. Bink. And it was like a little delay, too. Yeah. And because of that step through, he traveled half the octagon, and then Ursig just didn't expect it. Right here. Boink. Oh, man. Yeah, he wasn't ready for Oh, man. Kai Car France. Good for him. CK. So hit him versus Pantoja next? That would be amazing. Yeah, you got to do it. Who do you think next? Uh, uh, if he gets Pantoja, Pantoja's a dog, bro. And I just, every time I think of Pantoja, I think about that quote where he was like two fights ago, where he's like, I was driving Uber. Isn't that crazy? Ooh, that motherfucker bro. does not want to go back. So yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's gonna I win. Think he's gonna win yeah. bro. <laughs> I don't think Kai Car France was doing Uber anytime. I'm tired anytime of driving across town to bring a boba to someone. <laughs> One boba, zero tip. <laughs> Dude, if if I should, if I order something and I see, I was like, I told you. <laughs> Oh, fuck, you want to come in, bro? dude? Or? Yeah. You need, you need some money? Or... What's going on, man? Uh, you. Dan Hooker. Dan, who'd have thought Dan Hooker wins the best fight of the whole I, 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 You know, I thought. It's the tattoos, man. 
my buddies were asking me, who do you think is the bigger upside as, as an underdog out of Kai Car France or Dan Hooker? And I was like, Dan Hooker. Because I felt like Gamera, it's like the way he, he kind of reaches for takedowns can get a little desperate. And I feel like Dan Hooker is enough of a dog. You, do you to be able to all beat all those that. like uh, robbery comments? No. Nah. Everybody, so many fans were like, this is a robbery. I'm like, I what, saw some of that. Wait, yeah. what fight did you watch? Mm, I, I'm a little confused. Like, yeah, you could, the first round, give it to Gamera. Gamera. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. But Dan Hooker was pressuring the fuck out of him and dropping him. He, did he drop him in the first round or was they it both the dropped round? each other? Mm. They were dazed. Got they it. both dropped each other. But Dan right. Hooker, when he came through that second and third round, not letting up on the pressure, yep. threatening those with elbows, the, dude, the those guillotines. elbows and the guillotine. And he was whipping them around, dude. He was placing those elbows. Also, what's wrong with this fool? Is he fucking crazy? Is he a crazy person? <laughs> who, who? Dan Hooker. Dan Hooker. <laughs> I, love, I, love I love this, this shit. I was like, are you insane? I but he do, Okay, once again, I talk about this fight all the time, but once I saw him fight Dustin, Dustin Poirier, Poirier? And, and that <laughs> like setting and how they're both a bunch of fucking madmen. I never look at those guys the same after that. Yeah. And Dan Hooker was was I think he was con he was concussed. He was like on the verge of death, dude. Yeah. He said he got put out in that fight in the guillotine. Have you oh, ever seen really? that clip? Yeah. He said, I'm the first guy Dustin has submitted with the guillotine. Yeah, he I went out back up he woke up in the guillotine and he was like, Oh, the fight's still going. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is tight. Sick. <laughs> Dude, Dan Hooker, too, he was patient, ripping into the body. That front kick of his is so hard to defend. Scary teep. And guess what? He was, Nasty. He was teeping somebody who's a grappler. Yep. Which means that the way he throws it is hard to predict, right? Because I was thinking, like, oh, Gamrot's going to grab that. And if you're trying to shoot takedowns, that's the last thing you want to deal with is kicks up the middle. Mm. Gamrot, it's a deterrent. I was so happy that Gamrot lost <laughs> because he is the king of getting gifted decisions. Mm. Like he has lost so many matches and has been put into a position that he does not deserve. Not because he's not dope or anything else like that, but the fact that he won the Armin fight was fucking yeah, 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 yeah. surprising calamity. Dude. He, he kind of has what a GDP he... style without the punching power. Yeah. So just boring. Just whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. shots fired, dude. dude. He's our champ, all right. He's our fourth <laughs> yeah, African champ. Man. Okay, watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> I thought Gamrot was Gamrot looked like he was getting frustrated, dude. Like fuck, I can't take this guy down. And every time I shoot, it fucking hurts. Yeah. But that's how you got to deal with wrestlers. Like you gotta threaten something. You can't just here. bong. Yeah, and because he's there, he has to stall, and like he's it forces him to move, and it forces him to move. It gives openings for Dan Hooker, so he played it perfectly. Like that dilemma of elbows to the head or long guillotines. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Dan Hook. And he did such a good job of defending the takedowns. And even when he was in a bad position, he worked himself Still out. Still working. I was like, what the fuck did you do this camp, dude? You're a different man. The tattoos and the blonde hair. It he looks he looks like a different human being. Dude, he um he's back at number five now? Really? A light he jumped I think up he's that back much? at number five. Holy He's top five shit. again. I think what? so. Well, oh, Gamera was up there, bro. Yeah, he's oh. top five again. Gamera was like five or six. He was I five. think he was five. I think he took his number. Damn. Oh, shit. He's back up at top five. So he jumped. Bro, he jumped everybody. So Mac, he, he jumped he, Max Holloway. Dan Hooker wants Charles Oliveira, but also Justin Gaethje would be fun. Do Dude, that one. That is violence. I don't well, who who would win that? Justin Gaethje or uh Hooker. Hooker? As of now, I'm I going. might go fucking go hooker. I go, I go hooker. <laughs> I might hook. I might go hooker. I'm gonna go he seems different, dude. Well, it's just like he's got that dog mentality. He has more tools. He has more weapons. I think. Yeah. When it comes to the striking, like he's gonna he's gonna throw kicks up the middle. He's tall. He's lanky. You know, he's like a scarier version of Mike uh, Mike Vick. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the way he knocked his ass out. You're yeah. like, oh god, this is. Oh, actually... so I was thinking about James Vick. Player. Oh yeah, James. Vick. I was like, yeah. what does this have to do with you're dogs? About the guy that <laughs> dogs dude. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> For those of you who thought Gamrot won, was it just because of the take? I'm so curious. Like in the comments, if you guys thought Gamrot won, did you think it was was it was it because of the takedowns? See, I feel like people thought stuff like this where he'd be pressing him against the cage. Yeah, but, but I think that's why people are like, oh, because he's like he's controlling it by pressing up against the cage, even though Dan's clearly like like that, oh, yeah. right? So it's like, and he's separating the hands. Like if you're watching this, you're like. 
Gamrod is stalling. Yeah, he's pushing yeah. him against the cage, but he's stalling. Not stalling. Resting. But like, he's resting. He he's not winning. Yeah, it's man. more of a neutral position. Yeah. Because Dan Hooker is throwing elbows. He's 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 making him work. Out, and look, out look of who's the spot. on their back foot for a majority of the fight. Like third round. Let's look see. at this. He's on his back foot yep. the whole time. I gotta we gotta dye our hair blonde or something. Get some tats. Dye hair blonde. Yeah, he completely looked like a different person. Fucking Charles Oliveira. He should fight Michael Chandler again. Oh, I would love that. He should run that rematch, back. please. Because Michael Chandler never fighting six. ever. Dude, Michael Chandler's lights are about to shut off at his house. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting rid of some of his kids. He's putting some of his kids up for adoption. This motherfucker don't got running water, dog. Like, yo, please fight, dude. Yo, please fight. How are you going to adopt these kids and put them in a worse situation? Come on, man. Like, yeah. I want to go back to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> these kids aren't even from Africa. They're just from Detroit or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude. What a great fight, though, dude. Michael Chandler. The thought of him not having a job right now is yeah. so fucking funny. <laughs> Just throwing medicine balls, crying. <laughs> Slam balls. Hmm. Shout out to Michael Chandler, dude. I would love to have you on this podcast. <laughs> right after. Or adopt me too, man. <laughs> oh I'll take either one. Yeah. Uh, Tai Two of Austin, guys, is zero and five. Yeah, man. He did. Man, not, he did not look good. Tough. Well, I think this was a favorable matchup for him. It was so much so I put him in a parlay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the part like? Him and CKB? Him, Dan Hooker, and Izzy. Izzy. Ah. Oh. I bet against uh, my gut and DDP. Yeah, you did some risky betting. This card was hard, dude. It was really hard. <laughs> some risky betting, bro. It was really hard. We put $40 down to win like fucking $1,300. But <sighs> Whatever. It's not we bad. lost. We lost. But uh, Ty Tuivasa, man, kind of made me sad. It was Green. Sad watching him. I've never seen Rosen. I was trying to say his first name. Not gonna try. Jarzinho. Nah, Rosen. Jarzinho. He kind of looks saucy. I was like that jab. I was like, where is this Rosen I never see him fight. Yeah. Every time I watch, got his a little flavor fight. this time. His uh, last fight, he really developed his jab, and so I think in the beginning of the first round, coach kind of got on his ass. Like, mm. where's your jab? And he where's went your right jab? back to him, and he was winning. And that was the only thing I noticed with Tai Tuivasa is like, there's just big shots and exchanges. He kept. Cocking this right hand, and there was no like, it, bro. If imagine if Tai Tuivasa had a really nice jab, yeah, that sets up a lot for him because he doesn't need to. He doesn't need it to to land every time. He just needs a touch, touch, fine range. Man, he's a hard guy to fucking beat. He kept trying to do that dip overhand. He's trying to shell like, and throw, yeah. and I'm like, man, that's what he does. I know, All but he does. like. Just we want you to work your jab a little bit more, baby. And also you know, too, for I want to see him win. I don't, I don't know if he didn't maybe know this about Rosenstrike, but he's a pretty good kickboxer. Yeah. High level. Like, once you start setting up a pattern like that, you're not going to crack him with it. Yeah. Like, Rosenstrike is good. Because every time he... Like, like that. Dude, like, those... Bro, when he Every time timing. Ty threw the left hook, I was getting nervous. Yep. Because he got tagged, like, either right before or right after. He kept timing it. Like, he got his timing for those big shots, and he kept... It wasn't hard shots either. It was just to break the rhythm. Ching, boom, got you. Got you. He was just tagging him. And I think that frustrated Ty a lot, dude. Couldn't find his timing. Yeah. Where does he train out of? Somewhere in West Sydney or something. In a backyard somewhere. <laughs> I love Ty, too. I fucking love him. He went on that fucking winning streak like crazy. Yeah. Derek but Lewis. You get oh. enough footage and people start doing their homework on you. Dude, this is kind of what happens. Yeah. Uh, fight like DDP, man. Just do whatever. Just run forward. Scissor kicks in the air. Run forward. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> get, uh, rolling get, thunder. Scissor rolling kick. Thunder, get scissor get knocked down. Roll. Ankle pick. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this is look. Think of that. Look, look at Ty, man. Like he was on that streak. Think about if he beat Gun, he would have been fighting for the title. But honestly, and go, then goes into zero and five. Going back to what David was saying, <sighs> if you had a fight tied to Ivasa and he just ran ran forward at you and just swung his arms like this. He might knock your ass out. A hundred percent, dude. <laughs> just fuck it, man. <laughs> just see what happens. Just bro. fuck it, bro. Go berserk. Also, too, Ty, can, can you just grapple a little bit? <gasps> no. S set up that huge overhand. Like, if you're going to constantly throw an overhand, listen, I'm a professional fighter. <laughs> yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, tell us more. <laughs> but it's like, if he, because imagine if he just went for a single. Man. Faked it. Bonk. Dude, That's lights out. out. Yeah. Guns up. People wouldn't even expect it. Like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Because in MMA, that's the meta. You know, shoot low, overhand. Man. You know, overhand, shoot. It's like they play off each other so well. You don't have to change anything. 
Just just play off it. See what happens. Just different entries. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like it's time for him to mix it up a little bit or you're going to get cut. Mm-hmm. And I don't want that from him. You don't think, think he's, he's getting good. cut now? Or you no. think he's got enough fans? Because he sells a lot of tickets, so he's not going to get cut. Ty's a big name. They go, to, they go to Sydney or they go to Australia. They're going to fight. UFC will not win five, though? That's rough. It don't matter because he puts asses in seats. They'll, they'll probably Damn. make him fight someone else. Yeah. Andre Arlovsky there you go. around for the longest time. That is true. Damn. Bro. Who's next for Ty then? There's not a lot of options. I mean, he's gonna have to fight someone that's new. Yeah, I don't know. He's like, gonna have to work himself back. He up should now. fight the uh, Olympic guy. Who? Taekwondo guy. Oh, oh God! Uh, dude. There we go, Robellis. Robellis. Oh, they'll just start throwing at each other. If Robellis fucking beats him, he going top five, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Robellis. Oh man! Two oh. guys who have zero wrestling. Carlos, perfect. Carlos Prates? Prates Prates is the greatest striker uh, in I the world. I should have picked him, I, but I didn't. I felt I didn't feel right going against a countryman. Oh, I but. just go for the uglier person, <laughs> and that guy is a ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this: he was a Fallout. <laughs> Might yeah. be a fucking goblin, dude. Yeah, and I just like Li Jing Liang. Cause he's just like a really nice guy. <laughs> Say it that way. Like, yeah. yeah, he's just a really nice guy. He is hits he, hard. He seems like a sweetheart. Yeah, uh, I feel bad, dude. He got knocked the fuck out, huh? Yo, Protus can move and strike, huh? That was really bad. Every, he was hitting him right at the end of his range too. At the most, I was like, points. Lee, can we go for your hands here to, to here. here a little <laughs> yeah. bit? Nah, keep him down, dude. Brother, brother, brother. He's a leech. Man, it was just driving me crazy because whenever you see a long, weird, lanky guy like that, you know, like, look at how big his torso is. Yep. Carlos got no torso. He's a human spider. He's John Jones' body. Those guys hit fucking hard. Yep. Just because of whatever biomechanics of how long their arms are and how long their legs are. Like, they're just so hard to fight. And like, well, like you guys always see this too. When you have somebody this rangy with his hands down, what do you do? You got to get in there. Yeah, you can't fight at his range. You got to grapple this motherfucker. Yeah, he's got to take this guy down. Honestly, when we were, I was watching this, like, dude, why are you at the end of his range in every exchange? Yep. Like he's Pop. not. You got to go all the way in on this guy, dude. Oh, this is where I thought bad. Lee was kind of a grappler. This is where I mean, he that's does why grapple. he's the leech. That's his whole thing. He's like, boom! Look at this, dude. Oh, dude, get the RNC. Ooh. I don't like watching Chinese guys get knocked out. Oh my god, dude! Just right to his What ancestors. race do you like watching getting? Um, I don't. It's your favorite. I don't like Look any of them, but Ugh. this one just hurts a little extra, dude. That hurts whole, a little more. That whole <laughs> thirty seconds was him like, in what fashion am I going to kill you? I have every. I could do it any way. He you was want. kind of showing each side. Bink. I can throw kicks up the middle. Bink. I can throw overhand. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like how this fight was playing out. Oh no! And here it is. Watch this. It's one, the beginning of the end. Just one entry, please. Tags him a little bit there in the eye. I would just. Oh, there it is. Bink. That's where he's getting playful now. With the right. Bink, oh, bink. oh, just the that jab. was beautiful. His That's range beautiful. is nasty, and he knows his range very well. Bink. Oh, oh no! Just that left cross all night. I don't like the way that Lee is also just like holding on to bink. the cage, walking like that. Yeah. This fool literally got socked fourteen times in a row. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I'm sorry, twenty times in a row. And then he face planted. He got hit with everything he threw in those last thirty seconds. He he didn't miss. Oh, what do you do at that point, dude? At that point, you just tap. An R roll, dude. You got an roll. Yeah. Like, did he tap standing? Hey, <laughs> did you guys see this guy, Jack Jenkins or whatever, Mick Jenkins? I don't think Jack I Jenkins. I didn't see that one. This dude fought on some other fights before. I don't know what the fuck this guy's story is, but he he kind of reminds me of like. Australian Ilya Toporia. Mm. Really good body shots, really crispy boxing. That was an easy pick for me, though. Herbert Burns? Yeah, Herbert Burns has not looked good in a hot second. And I was like, eh, Jenkins, it's it's not going to be a good look for him. So this though. Jenkins guy, he's broke, like, the last three guys he fought, he broke their, like, shins yeah. from what calf kicks. Fuck? Yeah. This guy's a little scary. Wait, is he Aussie? Aussie. Yeah. Australians can fight, dog. Yeah, they got they got some hate in their heart. He, he kind of reminds me of like JDM a little bit. I think they're I think they might be from the same team, but I don't know. Really good boxing, really good jiu-jitsu. So it's like I'm just curious to see how these guys Wait, do how, in the UFC. This what, was a what did he do? He, he, just, he didn't answer. He let him stand up. He was like stand him up, but he couldn't get up. He couldn't get up. Look at him. He's trying. That's it. Yeah, he's dizzy. And this is after he dropped him a couple times. Yeah. And he was kind of beating him up. I thought this, this was a really bad matchup for Herbert Burns. And that was this one was an easy pick for me. I was like, ugh. Damn. Jenkins is legit. Let's go, Ozzy. 
It's a redemption from Ray Gun. Nice. Uh, <laughs> shout outs to her, dude. Yeah, Ray Gun. She's a professor in b-boying or some shit. <laughs> some shit. <laughs> That shit was a fucking. That's just stupid. I'm so sad. Well, uh, the when first person in the Olympics to ever get a zero, dude. The when she was doing you. this and she was spinning around the floor and she was kept, confident, keeping her hand on her chin. She's confident though. Yeah. Fuck she me. made me feel like I was the asshole for thinking she was whack. You know what was so? <laughs> That's weird. how confident yeah. she was. It was so weird. Like the conversations that people were having about it. Listen, I'm not a dancer, but I grew up on dance my whole life, right? Yeah. And look. She has her style where like comedy is kind of put into it. It's like it's it's a weird flavor, as you, if you would say, right? Yeah. It's the fucking Olympics, dude. Seriously. Like what the fuck? Are, what the fuck is this shit? And the weird thing was when dancers were coming up and they're like, "None of you guys can even do this. So why would you judge her?" She got a zero, guys. A fucking zero <laughs> from people in your peers. Your peers gave her a zero. Yeah. So let's not do this and pretend like she did an amazing job. Well, you watch all the other competitors. None of them looked like her. It's ex- set. Yeah, it felt like they she were was- all doing like, oh, this is break. I don't know anything about breakdance. Yeah, shout out to logistics from Sacramento, dude. dude Filipinos. I well. watched the the gold medal match. The um, the guy wizard Phil Wizard or something, dude. That's breakdancing. I was like, this everybody guy. Everybody was amazing. Dude. He froze on his head in midair. I don't know what the yeah, fuck. Yeah, but Raygun did this. <laughs> I could literally recreate her set right now. She's doing hip escapes. So yeah. you'd, probably, you'd probably get a point. Yeah, I probably but would. But Korean yeah. had some flair. Yeah, yeah. he had some style to him. His dick came out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it just like flips out. <laughs> 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 Heavy breathing. Dude, uh, let's talk about that Junior Taffa situation. Slapping what people? Happened? I don't know what happened. Uh, this is what happened. Johnny, ah! <laughs> Johnny Walker's brother? Oh, that's right. That's Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker's okay. brother. I forgot. Was that Johnny name, Walker's brother. That's his brother. His name is Walter. Walter. What? Walter. These guys are out of a movie, bro. When I see Johnny Walker, I don't think he's Brazilian in my eyes. I'm like, this guy is like Eastern European or what? I don't know. Like, he's racially they ambiguous. Look nothing alike. That's his brother. Walter. I didn't know he was Brazilian. I thought he was Russian. What uh, the fuck? Racially, ambi- racially ambiguous. I don't know any Russian guys with brown nips, though, dude. Look. 100%. Come Those on, seems man. dark as shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This guy's uh, yeah. pregnant. What? <laughs> His nipples got darker in the fight. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> You're so dumb. What did he get, catch him with? A heel hook? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen heel hooks in a while. How low key you thought man. that was Sergey Spivak? <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I would. <laughs> that is not face. a Brazilian. This guy. Look like Travis Brown, dude. Sergey. Dude, Justin Taffa getting mad because he's like, I didn't tap. You screamed so loud. That's a tap. They that's tell a, you that's a tap. It has, that is a verbal tap, yeah, right? That's, tap. Well, I, that's what I assume. Like your leg to be ripped apart? Or. Because it wasn't a grunt, right? It wasn't a. Uh, it was a. Ah! What was going on here? I think he wanted to tell him I didn't tap. Yo, you Damn. salty, bro. You're cut. Damn, what's with the Taffa bros? That's a backside 50-52. That's what? a bad one. That's a bad hey, one. What, what does that mean? I saw a lot of oh. 50-50s the other week. No, he hit, him, he hit him on the backside, so it's just like your knees locked in, so then the range of motion for you to to tear is like really short oh no so it's like extra tight but he kept rolling so it did relieve some pressure why, why do you slap him though it's uh, as if he you, did something wrong you just lost but why do you slap I, I don't understand like you should have who's the ref the this Aussie oh you should have slapped him <laughs> like why are you slapping Taffa this is weird I mean, why is Taffa slapping him is what I'm saying like that's so weird like what did he do wrong <laughs> honestly when you get leg locked like that you just want to tell the guy that leg locked you, like, you're fucking, you're fucking gay, dude. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> you just have that, like, instinct. Why is that a thing in jiu-jitsu where people don't tap to leg locks? Like, where's that, like, uh, it, sometimes Vinny and, like, Craig, when Craig told It doesn't guys, hurt right? until it, it breaks, kind of. Oh. Until it pops. But so when it's some, ripping, it's not really hurting. Until it's, like, pop, and then it's, like, ah. Oh. oh, it's done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't hurt until it's too late, unfortunately, with leg locks. But then again, too, it's like, I think it's like a, a tough guy thing. You know, I could I could hang out there longer and survive, but. Ah, shut up. You put me in that shit, I'm going, you that, got it. That tap, tap. That made me not like Tafa a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's not very likable. I don't really like that. Yeah. Slap the ref next time. Come on now. <laughs> but honestly. <laughs> you, if you're promoting that. You got heels yeah. the bro. Yeah. It is what it is. You don't want to have a torn knee ligaments just tap it is what it is on to the next one all right so we didn't talk about this uh last week but 
Khalil Roundtree will be fighting Alex Pereira, number eight versus the champion. Thoughts? Initial thoughts? Did you Crazy like it? Fight. Were you confused when you saw it? What I thought it was a like? great matchup. It's a Love fight it. for us. Love I it. really wanted to see Khalil fight Jamal Hill because I feel like that's a better fight. If he beat him, which I th- I would give the favor to Khalil. Khalil. Mm-hmm. If he beat him, that would have made the prayer fight even crazier. Yeah. Even crazier. But Khalil is a scary guy. When he fights, it looks like he's mugging everybody. That's the joke. Wow, racist. But continue. No, yeah. but that's. it looks like he's beating mm. Mugging the fuck people up. and then protesting? That's insane, dude. I yeah. didn't say protesting. Yeah, you yeah. Did. This, yeah is you did. The, this is the meme that they say. It's not my words. This is just the then, UFC Reddit, okay? It looks like he's looting and pillaging. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, dude. Wow. Ooh, I really backed myself in a corner here. Dude, just think to your HIV. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but he's literally being the shit out of something like they owe him money. Like, yeah. it's like, do you guys know each other or the, did something when, happen? When he soccer kicks people in the gut. I don't like it. It's scary. I think it's fucking awesome. I forgot what fight it was, but I... The Bukowskis when he stepped on his knee? No, no, no. It was the one oh. where he was... It was a. It was another. It was another black fighter where he was like in the corner and he just started throwing haymakers and bombs. Into it was him. Roberson, Carl. Dog. So I. He was a beaten up guy named Carl. <laughs> Carl <kid>. Winslow. <laughs> and so I went back and I was like, oh, they, they might have had some beef. I was like, nope, that was just him just throwing things like this. What oh, is this? Is this the one you're talking about? Yes. Look at this. Look oh, this, this is dude. This is before he went to Thailand. This is look at this. Tender. Or yeah. is this Ultimate Fight? Ultimate Fight. There was another one where oh, he, that one, yeah. oh, see, those hurt, brother. <laughs> the guy goes like, why'd you do it again? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like, wait, did he? do they have beef or something? Or that Ooh. one was just right on the button. Oh, did Ooh. he just Spartan one, kick? Yeah. He just fucking Spartan kick. Bro, when he, he goes for hammer fist. Game over. He's one of the only fighters that still hammer fist. Yeah, like, remember when he fought Eric Andres? Anders? It's bad right here. Watch this. He's going to lose. Oh, he lost. That's right. Yeah, he lost this one. It was the grappling. Damn, that yeah. was the, the, I think... Well, guess what? He is, he's a blue belt now. But also, Khalil has knocked out a very famous kickboxer named Gokan Saki. Yes. Right? And everyone thought Gokan Saki was going to go out there and beat the shit out of him. Piece him up. And I was expecting that, too, because I was a big, big fan of Gokan Saki. But Khalil Roundtree, he slept him, bro. This was Bro, beautiful. what is that? Oh, no. Dude, I'm Paul like, Craig. Now I'm remembering all the shitty shorts that UFC had after that. Look at this. Reebok. He's the yeah, only hey, guy that still has this. These shorts are awful, huh? Oh, God. They've come a long way. Why are we okay with the Reebok shit? <laughs> Damn, he stepped over him. This was the most beautiful fight I've ever seen in my life. And this is when he came back from Thailand and was like, all right, let me show you Muay Thai, bro. His leg kicks were scary. Bang really? that. Just the combinations, like, he was thrown at him. And he just pieced up Eric Andre, Anders for three rounds. Eric a- Anders? Anders? Eric Andre. 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 <laughs> Dude, when he was like, his name like when he was doing different times. <laughs> pranks with him. I think I'm fucking drunk, bro. Dude, yeah. going Say on? South Africa again. Honestly, uh, I, whatever, Africa. whatever the UFC has all these different names on the card and the announcers have to announce all of them, I feel so bad for him. It's such a tough job. <laughs> I can never do that. Well, I said Antoine Dodson, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mine's probably the worst. Prachino. <laughs> who are you talking? Who are you talking John about? John Dodson. Dodson. <laughs> that was like, hide your kids, hide your wife. Bro, swear to God, don't tell anybody except for the internet and all the fans that watch this. Whenever there's a black guy on the UFC fight, <laughs> Tiff thinks it's Leon Edwards and it's not <laughs> Leon Edwards. <laughs> Yo, put uh, Tiff's photo up here. <laughs> wow, Leon Edwards has like, moved up a weight class. Oh yeah. wait, he moved down a weight class. Bro, one day she thought he was Aljo. Oh my god! I was like, dude. babe, this is, you gotta get this together. You gotta. Get it right. <laughs> they don't even look the same at all. What's going on, brother? Oh, uh, the so knee what happens? Crazy. What happens to Tiff when she sees two black fighters fighting? Like, she's like, oh, is he in a mirror? Leon and all, Aljo are fighting. <laughs> what in the ninjutsu? John He's fighting himself. <laughs> <laughs> How is he doing this? The Matrix. <laughs> I don't think I don't think uh, Bukowskis is fighting for the UFC anymore. Yeah, because his knee went to retirement. Jesus, this, is this the this one? one. This, this, one, one. this one. Robert's beating him up. Oui. This one was vicious, dude. Look at this. Chucks him. Look at this. Spin. Blip. He's like, "Fuck jujitsu. Jujitsu don't work, dog." That's a great way to escape. Oh, oh. he might have kicked him in the balls. Maybe the Spartan kick is just crazy to me. You see that? That's a lot of pressure to to deal with. Well, yeah. I was like, I don't like that, man. I thought they had beef. When he, bro, when he stands over you like that, that's scary. So, what are your early predictions? What do you think? How do you think, think this is gonna go? I think Alex Pereira knocks out Khalil Roundtree. I'm going for a upset here. We're gonna see a new champion, Khalil Roundtree. There, there is no body that can replicate what 
Alex Pejeda does, so yeah. it's hard to prepare for him, right? And everybody thinks that they have a grasp on how hard he hits until you get they get hit. touched by him. I changed my pick. I'm back to Alex. <laughs> Dave is good at this. Yeah. The only person who has he been able to, to deal with him was Israel Adesanya, but it took him four tries. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this is Khalil Roundtree's first, first of all, his first interaction with somebody with this level of striking. He has nobody that has prepped him for this level of striking. Mm. And he stated, like everybody else did, I will not grapple. Okay. Has that worked for anybody at this point? And you are now in a weight class where Pejeda is sitting quite pretty, right? He's not drained at 185. Well, he's drained at 185. 205, he's sitting nice. Dude. Yeah, he's right a thick boy. Class. He's and a strong, strong boy. What, in the 205, how much damage has he re has he received? Not much. Man, pretty fucking his good. Foot, he fucked his foot up. Oh, yeah, Dave. In the last man. one. He can't move anymore. <laughs> yeah, he can't. I, he you know what, thanks, Nick? I'm going back to Khalil. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I think Khalil, out of everyone in 205, has the best puncher's chance. In terms of striking, yeah. Best puncher's chance out of anyone there. I think the the his range is going to be really hard for Khalil to deal with, but Pejeda might also be surprised at how good um, Khalil Roundtree is. But then again, he also kickboxed Israel Adesanya. Yeah. So I don't think it's going to shock. And he beat like some of the best kickboxers in the world. Yeah. yeah. Do you see what he did to Jason Wilness? Yeah. Ooh. And Jason Wilness too, by the way, has a similar style to Khalil Roundtree. Mm -hmm. I think he's prepared for him. I don't know, guys. I think I know my stuff. Uh, I, think you, I think you just ruined this fight forever. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, I guess it's one-sided. And by the way, as I I'm say this, this please don't compile this clip for all the picks I picked wrong. Because <laughs> it's a lot. But uh, it's fun, though. Really yeah. quick, how do you guys feel about uh, Uncle Iev just getting the boot? I don't really care about <laughs> Uncle Iev because he cries too much. So he's not a fan favorite. He's right? not. But also in the fights that he wins, he does weird stuff. Yeah. Like, I think the last fight he beat Johnny Walker, was it? Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there was, like, some weird controversy. We were throwing, like, illegal strikes. Like, yeah. this dude is always in something. So, I don't know. I just feel like... Do you think the UFC is kind of like, we don't like you? Like, straight up being like, dude, we don't care about you. And this fight, they could turn around quick just because they know Pereira's a star. Yeah. Trying to milk it's him. Like, He's 37. If, if they fight on Kaliev, they'll probably have to fight in like Abu Dhabi or something. Yeah. Yeah. So if if they do fight, I mean, obviously after this Khalil fight, oh, on Kaliev is up next. There is no doubt. But what He's got to win. What if he walks up to Pereira and is like, hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro. Hey, bro, boom. Hey, bro, boom. Who's on Kaliev going to fight? Oh, he already has a fight line. Yeah. Who, yeah. Who is he going to fight? Uh... I guess it's not gonna oh, is Rakic. Rakic. Oh, Rakic. Yeah, yeah, coming off a loss. That's a fire fight, though. Yeah. See, I think that's the other thing, too. A good fight. Um, I think because that Ankalaev and um, uh, Rakic fight is already going to be the main for that card, they don't want to have to replace that and do something else because mm. he's already lined up for a fight. If that wasn't in the books, he probably would have gotten Yeah, fight. probably. Yeah. yeah. Is there a fight this weekend? Yeah, there is. Yeah, dude. Fucking look at the notes, bro. Oh, Jared Cannonier, Tayo Barallo. <laughs> the notes, okay, I was like, I forgot about that. <laughs> Scroll down. Well, why asshole. this is working? Because uh, the internet's down. Uh, who do you guys got? Jared Cannonier or Fight Nerds? Nick's getting super uh, hard right now. I think you're Kyle, bricked up, dude. Kyle Barallo, one of the coolest Brazilian names to say, by the way. And he's so nice. Yeah. He's I think Kyle Barallo is this is his time. I give it to Borail because I think it's stylistically not a good matchup for Cannoneer. And he's a free spirit. Okay. Did you know that? There you go. Says he's a fucking free spirit. Yeah, so. he's out of his apple says. Watch your fucking mouth, yo. Yep, and he has Japanese words on his chest. I have Japanese on me as I'm well. I'm going Kyle all day. Yeah. Kyle. Kyle. Also, Jerry Cannoneer is now getting a little older, which I know he looks great. But Kyle's style is just not a good matchup for Jared because he's a sit-down style and mm -hmm. Kyle moves a lot. Yeah. And he just doesn't fuck up. But then again, it's also a five-round fight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because that's going to be the big decider, right? Yeah. Experience versus the new age. Because from 12 to 5 is a big step up. But Kyle Burrell has been smoking everybody. Yeah. So I think this is... Uh, He's this also is a coach. He's his time. coaching actively still. I his time. His time. He beat uh, Magomedov. Kyle by decision. Brother, yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be by decision. Dude, I think he's going to be able to grapple, too. Yeah. He's on a streak. Uh, if Angela that doesn't Hill, happen, it's going to be... I think Angela Hill is going to lose by a split decision. That's what always happens for to her. the history of that's what Angela always happens Hill. To her, huh? I think that's what's going to happen. The judges hate Angela Hill so much. I don't know what it is, too, and it's going to be... People are going to be upset about it, I think. People are going to... There's going to be people saying she won that fight, and I think that's what's going to happen. I'm going to go Angela Hill... 
by TKO. I think she's tired of it. I think she's getting a little older, and OG. she's going to go for it. Yeah, I'm going to go OG bias. It's going to be a, probably a stand-up fight. Between How about both. the reach? She's legit, dog. I know she's legit. Dr. That's Jason, Jason Park's Park. chick, dude. And also Callum Walsh's girl. Callum Walsh? Is that, am I saying the name wrong? Who the boxer. About? The boxer. Irish guy. Freddie Roach? Oh, no way. He's sick as fuck. You know who this is? Oh, Callum shit. Mar- it's like Dana White's boxer. Like, really? He, like, he's like the only boxer that UFC or Zupa's like promoting. What? Fights They're promoting with, boxers tra- now? Yeah, trains with uh, Freddie Roach. Wow. Uh, he's sick. Uh, he's fighting, dude. Never mind. He's no Kyle Barayo. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I know. Tiny teeth Barayo, dude. Uh, <laughs> you, you just like... <laughs> I don't know. Did you even have to say that? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Who said what? Who said what? said that, I'm like, God damn. I was dude. like, oh shit. He does, on. He has small <laughs> teeth. That's why I laugh he has, like that. He has the smallest teeth I've ever seen in my life. That's all. <laughs> why does David just, observe everything? He just nibbles everything? I don't know. He has, he has the teeth of an infant. <laughs> yeah, you observe some weird stuff, man. Like the guy's nipples are darker. <laughs> hey, dude. I'm just telling he you right he's now. He's pregnant. He can't stop like roasting people. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When you grow up in a neighborhood where everybody's black, they just roast you all the time. So you have you had, defense. I would have so much anxiety whenever I would get a haircut. You would, you would go in there. They're, like, they're going to know. They're going to know my hairline's off. It's nonstop. You sit down, and then everybody's just firing at you. Yeah. So you had to be that so quick. True, I'll tell you right now, you think that I'm quick tongued right now i'm actually not i'm actually way worse than i was when i was younger when i was a kid i was bah, i used to fucking get everybody because <laughs> i had to get them before get they get me yeah, yeah. oh man yeah. kyle's like hey nice to meet you david small teeth <laughs> you have small teeth ha <laughs> four eyes i just get you just have to find the thing that somebody's really insecure about <laughs> and then you just get them on it super fucking easy dude neil magny <laughs> say something about him what do you mean, dude? I can see what he's thinking with that forehead of him. Hey! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, you reversed me. I was like, oh, David doesn't have one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. No, I'm kidding. I love Neil Magny. He's an OG, baby. Pull up Michael Morales, his, his record. Uh, is he new? I don't know. He's fought before. I, I think, think he's coming off a... That could be a model. Yeah, he's dude. Put that out there. He's legit, oh, he's, he's, Oh, he beat Trevin Giles. And he beat uh, Jake Matthews recently. Yeah. This is a step up. He's the new uh, prospect. It's hard to say with Neil Magny because he stops everyone. He's, he's <laughs> yeah. either going to choke you out or get pieced up. I yeah. don't know which one it is. I think uh, I'm going to go Michael Morales. Yeah, he's some good. And it's three rounds, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, gonna go Michael Morales. Go three Equities. rounds, five yeah. rounds might be going for Neil, Ma- Neil Magny. This is an interesting one. Ooh, Edmund Shabazian. We had the hype train. Gerald. Edmund Shabazian versus Gerald GM three. Dude, G- and Edmund in his last fight looked good, dude. He did. I'm gonna go Edmund Shabazian on this one. I think he has some a fresh wind in him, a little gust of wind. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I think it's a good matchup with Gerald. Very weird rib cage. He might get <laughs> very flared. He might get out. I think if he <laughs> loses, he'll get choked out by GM3. Yeah, but what do you think about his rib cage? Uh, quite flared, actually. Uh, and concave. Um, <laughs> Chicken carcass. <laughs> Chicken spatch cocked. Yeah, spatch, spatch cocked. Spatch cocked rib cage. No spot. Edmund spatch cocked. Like, how come everybody just doesn't go for his rib cage? It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like poking out of his skin. Just break it, dude. <laughs> It's Christ. Oh, fuck. All right. Daddy Silva. Dead <laughs> what if he DMs me? He goes, dude, I'm so self conscious about that. Why did you say that? Dude, Why do you people? know my weakness? <laughs> my rib cage. <laughs> and he lives in Glendale. I'm so scared. <laughs> uh, Danny Silva. Dead is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who this is. I don't know. I don't know some of these guys. I'm going to go Dennis because he has a photo. Dude, we shouldn't even pick these. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go, I'll go Logan Paul. Let's not even pick these. Logan Paul, for sure. Uh, Logan Paul. Just watch yeah. the fights. Okay, we got to pick this one. Nick, you got to go with Wang Kong. Wow, that is a racist name. That name's insane. I don't know if I should say it. Say it. I'm not going to say it. Say it one more time. Wang Kong. There you go. There you go. Wang, Wang Kong. Kong. Kind of rolls off the tongue. China's got legit fights for fighters, man. So China's up. Yeah, but how is it? <laughs> okay. China's up. You see the Olympics? They were they were doing well. They're tied with us, man. Okay, they did well in the swimming. They usually don't. But That's... France, judo all day. Oh yeah. Well, you see Teddy. fucking Teddy Reiner, dude. Reiner. Yeah. Have you seen that guy? No. Judo black belt. Four times. Four time gold medalist. Beat He's Japan. He's six ten. Made Japan. The... Made Japan. Three hundred and three pounds. He was he was judoing with the biggest Korean guy I've ever seen in my life. Oh yeah. And he fucking <laughs> suplexed his ass like it was. Ipon. Yeah. Ipon. Why my people, dude? They're really good at judo. Is it, wait, Wang Kong? Chinese. Wait. She Chinese. Is this her first fight? No. Probably. Why does she look like a fucking corpse? Why is she so pale? Oh, because it's, the, I think the, the photos from Road to UFC. They have weird. Oh, okay. She looks like a really hot Korean guy. She does look like a hot Korean guy. She looks like she could be 
and like uh, oh my god, I see it. Right? She looks like a really good Korean. Now guy. when I switch, I'm like, damn. She's man. probably really insecure about that. Oh well, sorry, dude. <laughs> That one got Richie. We got Richie. Uh, we finally Richie's got him. like, I'm trying to be racist. He's like, trying to, like, he's smirking behind yeah, the computer. Yeah, yeah, he's like, fuck that. We almost good. got him with the Khalil Roundtree saying that he was mugging everybody, David. <laughs> but this time, we got oh, really him with quick. Wang Kong. This is the largest Korean ever. And Holy shit. That, that could have been you, David, in another life. You didn't work out. Ever. You know, I don't have a big frame, though. I'm actually pretty just fucking frail. Okay, go to the Epon. Oh, yeah, go to the Epon. Okay. This Korean guy is like very what good. The fuck, this guy's gigantic. This is the look, gold medal. This too. is lifting a three hundred pound Korean. This is what it looks like. You ever see a, a oh. guy get flipped on his head? I didn't know how the scoring works. Like, I don't. Oh, first of all, if that, you're six ten, you're not allowed to do judo. Yeah, this and you either join the NBA or you work at a cash register at Seven Eleven. This motherfucker's a Viking, dog. Who's gonna beat that guy? No one. I mean, he's retired now. That's four Olympic gold medals. That's crazy. Yeah, who was gonna beat Shaquille O'Neal, the <laughs> judo fucking, you know? He's huge. That's so scary. Oh, he's good looking. He's too. good looking, dude. He's, he's like fucking Idris Elba. As shit. God, anytime a that's Korean beautiful. Boy, anytime a Korean that's flails. so beautiful. So money. Look at the crowd in France. Ooh, dude, when they hit Epons though in the gold ma- and the like, matches, Amp. you're like, oh, oh, that was worth it all. And you look at the audience too. Dude, look at the size of the Korean guy's thighs. <laughs> Holy shit. He's a thick boy. That fool's thick. This fool's handsome as shit, dude. The fuck? That's not fair. Yeah, he looks like a fucking art. Oh, we got this singer. gook over here, dude. <laughs> He's very good at judo. Dude. I could say that. That's my that's my people. Yeah, d- uh, this guy, three hundred pounds, lean, insane, ridiculous. He's great. He's a superstar. When he bows, he's the same height as him. <laughs> what if he just eat bones him again? No, he bitch. I know. Get out of here. Uh, well, guys, that is our show. Um, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you comment down below and let us know what guests you want. I'm trying. I'm out there. I'm hustling. Just keep putting the names there and keep spamming these guests. We keep getting denied, but we won't quit. We're not quitting, guys. Hey, fighters, stop doing that to us. And guess what? You just wait till this podcast blows up. You're going to be like, can I get an interview? No. <laughs> yeah. No, you cannot. David's our it, It's fine. Am I paying $600 for flights and having to cancel them? It's fine. Yeah, whatever, dude. No, you cannot come on this podcast. I'm just kidding. We still want you, even if we blow up. So please. Peace. We love you guys. Bye. We'll even interview Ian Gary. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do anything. Yeah, I'll, no, I'll rather, I'd rather die. Yeah.